What's up guys, I'm Monster here, and in today's video I want to talk to you guys about the Apple ecosystem. So, there's just so much I like about the Apple ecosystem. You know, for one, it just works. I mean, everything. Example, I use my iPhone for these videos, to record these videos. Then, I airdrop them onto my iPad and edit them via iMovie. Soon to be LumaFusion. But the way that it just works, the way it can airdrop and transfer to all your different devices is just amazing. I mean, like I said, I use my phone for recording, my iPad for editing and uploading, and thumbnail making. Guys, I mean, you guys complain so much that these products suck. How do they suck? Tell me in the description right now why you think Apple is a bad company, why you think your product sucks. Because right now, I don't see it. Okay? I upload my videos at 1080p. I mean, it's one of the best qualities. Soon I'm going to be trying to upload in 4K. Why are you guys complaining so much? Honestly, let me know in the comments. I personally do not see any other company do as much as they do. Do work so well with other devices like Apple. Samsung, for instance, you don't see their devices working together, their watch and the tablet and the phone, you can't transfer things from one device to another, and if you can, it's with the cable. I mean, that's one of the most annoying things I've ever seen in my life. Transferring things with the cable. What are we in the 90s? Get with the error here. I mean, if Samsung and all these other companies want to compete with Apple, they should try it a little harder. I mean, I get it. Okay, I get it. The, the prices are way too high for their products. I understand that completely. And I agree with you. But when you're talking about the watch, the iPhones that you can get with data plans, it's not bad. Again, I agree, the other products are way too expensive and Apple should start dimming down on prices a little bit. Making cheaper models or just dimming down prices a little bit. Because the way I see it, it's just getting worse. You know, we're gonna have an event now in March, at the end of March, and I cannot wait to see the prices. I'm, I, I know what I'm gonna be expecting, but you know, it's just way too, I can't. I mean, I'm a tech YouTuber, and a lot of people say to me, you know, you're a tech YouTuber, um, you talk about all these devices, uh, how do you have so much money to buy it? I don't. I don't buy them. I mean, if I do, it's with data plans, or some kind of plan, because I am not paying full price for anything, although... Although, I would love to get a MacBook, I'm not, because a 
love the price. You know? I mean, if somebody was generous to send me one, and hey, whatever. But I'm not asking anyone to do that. Um, but still, you know? Again, I think the only thing with Apple is their prices. Other than that, I don't see anything wrong with it. If these other companies want to compete with each other, then, you know, start doing it a little better. You know, start implementing things that Apple has that these other companies don't, such as AirDrop. Make it easier for Android users to transfer things from one device to the other, just like Apple. You know, give it, uh, make some services where, you know, um, I, there's a lot of, I can't say this, but, you know, there's a, a lot of companies out there now that I'm glad that they do this, but you can call uh, video call uh, from one device to another. I think it's LG that does this. And I love that. I love how they copy Apple on that. I wish a lot more people would, to be honest with you. But maybe getting something like iMessage, something where these other companies know that another person, another family member, whatever, have the same product as them. Make it so tablets and uh, smartwatches are competing against iPads. Because if you want to compete, like I said, you got to try harder. Because I, I still don't see anything as good as Apple right now. Again, I understand the prices are way too much. I agree with that. That's why I have data plans. That's how I do things. You know, I mean, I, I had a friend just ask me, how, how do you manage to get all these devices? I don't. I don't. I wish I had the device to actually have in my hand and say what it's like. You know, I can only buy things, you know, here and there, if I'm lucky, you know, but honestly, Apple's ecosystem is like no other. Let's take uh, phone calling and video calling, for instance. Let's say you were... Your phone was in your room or whatever, and you were on your iPad or your Mac on in another room. Your phone rings. You can answer on your iPad. I don't know if you can on your Mac, but I know you can answer with your iPad. Because I have it and I've done it. You don't see that with other companies. You don't see that with Androids. You can't even text message on Android tablets like you can with iPads. You, you guys are saying that Apple is far behind on a lot of things from Android, but Android is a lot further behind on a lot of things that Apple has already. That's just my opinion. You know, yes, Apple could change a lot of things to make it easier for customers to buy their products, but I don't see why you're complaining this much. That's just me. Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys agree with me, leave a comment down below. If you guys disagree with me, leave a comment down below. I want to talk to you guys, know you guys' opinion. Um, let's just keep it cool though. Let's not fight with each other. That's what I try to prevent in my videos. So again, I want to have a com conversation with you guys. If you guys don't want to have a 
conversation, if you guys want to have a private conversation with me, follow me on my social media. I post everything. I post polls and everything. So please be a part of it. And I will talk to you guys in my very next video. Apple Monster out.